Hmm, very, very interesting. What do they want us to do for this? Well, what we're planning on doing is I want you to simplify this, all right, by using the distributed property. And you might say, well, how are we gonna use the distributed property if I know the distributed property is this, right? Well, what I want to do is I want to take a look at this problem and see if I can rewrite it in this format. So you can see this somewhat resembles this problem. What I want to do is I want to say, can I rewrite it so it looks more um, like I'm using the distributive property? And there's a pretty simple case on you know, what we're going to want to do for that or how we do that. So what I'm going to first do is I am going to uh, see what am I really multiplying this out. So dividing by four, okay, um, is pretty much the same thing as multiplying by one fourth. So you could say pretty much what I'm doing is, uh, let's take a look at it this way. If I said eight um, divided by two, that's the same thing as eight times one half, right? So here, since I'm dividing by four, I can dividing both of these terms by four, right? I'm not just multiplying the 17 or, or just the five n, I'm multiplying both of these. So what I can say is I can rewrite this as one fourth times 17 plus five n. Then what I notice is now I can distribute this one fourth to both of these terms. So I could say one fourth times 17 plus, because it's a positive one fourth times 5n. Now I can just rewrite this as 17 fourths plus 5n fourths. And you might say, why would you ever want to go ahead and do that? Well, it's going to come up in multiplication. It's just important for you to understand that I can represent, ooh, looks like we're losing all power. I can represent this problem just like in this form as well. Um, and it's just important for you to be able to understand that by splitting it up. And I'm just using distributive property to show you why we can write this problem in this format. So it's just a different representation that's going to become very useful um, in later mathematics. And I'm just using distributive property to let you know how you can do it.